Yo, what up is Dom? Sammy Lee here. Soul Brothers. Ooh, alright. So the we saga got, continues. Yes, yeah, so we got some news for you. So as you guys know, the Adapt Basketball or the Adapt BB was released. I guess they had like a very limited pre-order run. So I'm yeah. not sure. So if you did the pre-order, does that mean you get it earlier or it just means you're guaranteed a pair? I don't no, know. Right? I don't, I don't think you get it early. No. It just means you're guaranteed a pair, that which, you know, it's, it's a pre-order, right? Yeah. But, yeah, so that came out, and then everyone was like, ooh, right? And then, you know, my thoughts, it's like, eh, it's pretty cool, but like, is it really necessary? Same with you, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's like, it, it, like the look. I mean, I, I like stuff like that, though. Yeah. I like, I mean, I'm just going to be interested to, to test it out and see if it's dope. I mean. But they're 350? Yeah, it's a lot of money, and is it going to be better than just... Laces. Laces or... You know what I'm saying? Or as Adidas says, no laces. Oh yeah, or but, laceless, which I disagree on. But anyways, yeah. so BR Kick said... Uh, so Eric Avar, which he's the... I think he's the president of like design for Nike or something like that. And he's also the main designer for Kobe. He's been the main designer for the Kobe line for... I think most of his Kobe's. So Eric Avar on Kobe's next Nike sneaker. And also he designed... Or he was one of the main designers for the BB basketball mm -hmm. or Adapt BB, right? BB basketball. <laughs> <laughs> basketball, Triple B. yeah. Triple B. So uh, Kobe's next shoe, the 14th, which is it the 14th? Not I'm so really. lost because yeah, we stopped like, with numbers, right? We start with the 11, right? Yeah. But it's, it, it's not the 14th because the AD is 12. Yeah. The AD, AD. The mid can't. Is the mid? Mid is 13. Oh, yeah. yeah the AD and XT doesn't count. That's more of like a, uh, like a, yeah, right. I don't know. It's it's a mess. Yeah, it's a little. I don't know what they did. Very why weird. they did that. But I guess it's the fourteenth or the fifteenth, right? Okay. And he says is heavily influenced by the Jordan thirty three and the self lacing adapt basketball. Okay, so so what does that mean to us? Um, well, first of all, you know it's not going to be influenced by the thirty three as far as just the overall silhouette. Nope. Because. It, you know, that's not really Kobe style. Is it? Yeah, yeah, because it's heavy, bulky, you know. Yeah. Uh, Kobe likes a it's really... A high, mid, yeah. you know. He likes a really minimal shoe, and he likes to have very good court feel as well, even though sometimes it does, a sac uh, cushion is sacrificed. He likes to have a lot, or from his basketball shoes, we can tell that he likes court feel, right? So, of course, starting with this, uh, with the 8 is one of the lightest basketball shoes ever, or like that we've ever Maybe the lightest weighed. that we've ever weighed. Yes, um, and we've weighed a lot of basketball shoes, and even lighter than the 360s, you know, lighter than, um, I don't know what else is lighter, right? There's a lot well, the of Mamba Rage is, oh, yeah. but that's not, in the, that's not his top tier line. Was the Mamba Rage lighter than this? I think... I don't remember. I'm, I'm guessing that I thought the A was lighter. Anyways, whatever the case is, very innovative. You know, Kobe's line has always been about innovation, pushing the limits. You know, so uh, you know we have the A here, and also of course we have nine, which was the first basketball shoe to incorporate fly knit or basically a knit material. Even though it is pretty heavily glued down, it still gets really, really soft. And of course, you have a, a crazy high. As I don't really yeah, he went that. super high. You know, yeah. he said, you know what? Just when you guys thought I was going to go low, low, I went high. But it's because they devised the system, so they say, to have a high that feels like a low. That still gives you ankle mobility. Um, you know, I, yeah, I think it's a little bit uh, of a stretch. I mean, this is one of our favorite silhouettes ever. Yeah. Um, and the high specifically, I love playing in the high. Yeah, but, it in, but it's innovative, right? Yeah, it's innovative. It's still pretty minimal around your ankle. It's not yeah. super bulky, you know? Yeah, so we have the 9. Of course, we have the AD NXT. You know, this looks like the Adapt BB. You know, of course, we have this as well, the Exodus, or the most recent uh, Kobe basketball shoe. And, it, you know, it seems like these two were heavy influences of the uh, Adapt basketball. But anyways, yeah, so uh, this was kind of weird and it tried to be innovative with like kind of a laceless technology it didn't work like crazy well in, in, in my opinion but you know they're still they were still trying to push something and also like for freaking 220 bucks or however, however much this was it was yeah, super expensive yeah so there's that of course you had the ad mid which was um i think kind of like a failure i mean there's a it's a good performer it's a pretty good performer but it's just like as far as like innovation and like 
pushing the limits and stuff. It's like it, it went. They went back on materials. This materials yeah. is shit. Felt material and like, you know, it, it just wasn't like a Kobe. You know, it was just a weird move. Yeah, like, all the way around. Uh, I mean, they call it the AD mid, like it's the same as the AD. Yes, uh, but it really wasn't. And of course, we have the three sixties, which is probably one of the most innovative shoes um, in Kobe's line because it's it's literally one material thickness. I don't know like how to describe it. Either. I don't even know. It's like it's half see a millimeter. Through. Yeah, um, exactly. It's just like a mesh, a really open screen mesh that the ventilation is just off the charts. The minimal feel of the upper is unmatched by any shoe yes. really ever made. I mean, I'm talking even a lot of casual shoes, runners are, aren't even as minimal. And uh, the React cushioning, React Lunalon blend cushion, it, it's its awesome. You know, yeah. I, we love what, what they did, especially Donnie Boy. Donnie Boy loves what they did with this shoe. And uh, that's what we're looking for. Of course, we have the Pro Tro, which is an all, like a performance retro. You know, they, he took his older silhouette and made it into like a more of a modern spin on it which is super dope added a full length uh zoom unit and made it lighter yeah and of course we're gonna we're looking forward to the kobe 4 pro show which is coming out soon as well which is gonna be awesome but um yeah kobe's line has always been about you know innovation pushing tech to the limit yeah. and that's what we're hoping for in the 14th i mean <laughs> the, the 360 came out and the six months six months later this came out Crazy. So I don't, I don't, we don't know what they're doing, and they just called it. This is the AD. Yeah. Um, there's really, it just says Kobe AD. Didn't this just come out as well, the Exodus? Yeah. Like, like around like what, four or five yeah, months ago? Yeah, something like that. Right, it hasn't been a year, so uh, we don't know when it's gonna come out. But I mean, I guess that's what they're doing now, like every six months. Yeah. You know, which which is not bad, but I mean, I mean, every single year, once a year, you want you want to let the shoe marinate. You know what I'm saying? You want to let us play in the shoe, and then you know actually you know uh, what do you call it like just love the shoe yeah. you know like appreciate it you know but every six months i think is a little too fast but uh speaking on technology what do you think do you think the kobe's are gonna have the the uh adapt system like what fit adapt or whatever it's called do you, do you think they're gonna have the electronic system or is it gonna have like the mm -hmm. jordan 33 system maybe something like boa uh, you know, know yeah maybe something like boa that, right? that's kind of more what i would think I, I don't think they're gonna go full electronic. Probably not, right? For Kobe's. Yeah. Uh, um, I wouldn't be surprised if they did though, because it is a Kobe, right? Yeah, it is a Kobe. But uh, you know, when you do the electronics, you're gonna add weight, yeah. a good amount of weight. Just it's just there's no way around it, really, that I see as of right now, because um, you're talking to mechanical structures, not just like a microchip. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. I don't know. Yeah, I'd definitely be interested to see. I think it's something more along the lines of like the Jordan Fast Fit system. Probably, I think um, so. Probably different. Though. I don't think it's gonna be a no. pulling thing. Probably some something like a boa or like a strap or something. But it's gonna be fast. It's gonna be quick. It's gonna be awesome. I think we'll have to see on durability. Um, the tech though, we don't know as far as cushion. You know, like what do you think the cushion is going? If it's, I feel like it react, could be anything. React. Yeah, that'd be dope. But they just, I mean. Uh, Nike's so crazy. Like, I feel like you can't expect really what it's gonna be. I, it could be Phylon. It could be full length. <laughs> react. I mean, a whole new cushion. I'm speculating React. React. They need another shoe with yeah, React. Yeah, they do. One hundred percent. The price is probably gonna be. They're, they're gonna put it up there again. Yeah. How much was the ADs? How much are these? One forty. One. Yeah. Are they one forty or one sixty? I think they're one sixty. One sixty. Okay, that's kind of maybe one forty. I don't remember. Either way, you know, it's it's not top of the lot, top top of the list as far as uh, price goes. Yeah. For Kobe's, I mean, they're, they're kind of starting to metal out a little bit, but the the real innovative stuff. I mean, the three sixties are two hundred dollars. Insane. And, and durability. Sucks. And the durability is horrible. Yes. So uh, yeah, you're gonna have to pay for these. Yeah. For sure. We're speculating that it might come out maybe during the summer. I don't know. It's you know they probably already have a design and it's already done. Maybe they're going into production soon. And if they are, then it's gonna take probably like a couple months for them to obviously mass produce it and have all the inventory needed to you know ship it out and stuff. But anyways, tell us what you guys think. What do you guys think it'll look like? And what do you guys think the tech will be in the new Kobe signature shoe? We definitely are excited and we're excited to see the innovation that Nike is providing us. That's it, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next one. Later. Peace.